Yeah, I really, watching the film, really like the, the effort, the intensity, the physicality our guys play with, their finish. Um, there's a lot of great things on tape that, to be encouraged with from our team. Just overall, it's just just executing the fine details of what we're asking, what we're asked to do, right? That's what it takes to win those tough games, and that's where we lack just a little bit. But we're close. We're very close, and our guys know that. You know, we left a lot of plays out there that we could have made to flip that game in our direction. Uh, credit to Atlanta. They did. They played they play tough. Uh, I think the game's flipped on third down, right? They got stops on third down, and we didn't get stops defensively, and that's where the game flipped for us. We have to be better there, be more dialed in and more on it, and we'll have an improvement there. In the first half, you know, Damian Pierce, on first and second down, is towards the top in terms of carries, and he's towards the top in terms of things being loaded boxes. What do you think is the reason for that, and how do you guys overcome that? Yeah, when it comes to the run game, I think it's it's collective. It's all of us. I feel like our guys, they did a great job of blocking yesterday in the run game, and then, so you all know the the mind, the – the margin for error is slim in this league. So it's tight holes or guys, there's one guy in the hole. We have to be able to, you know, make a guy miss. We have to, you know, force some missed tackles there. But I think the guys blocked it well yesterday. We just have to stay after it, right, encouraged with what we did up front yesterday from a run blocking standpoint and also in pass protection. So really uh, proud of what the O-line is doing for us. We just have to. We have to make explosives when we can. When it's there, it may be slim, but we have to make it, make them pay. Um, what is the game or, or what was that? With Devin, I get no such as that's more flow of the game and us as coaches, we have to do a better job of getting Devin more opportunities. The continuity will help, but I definitely feel like that our run blocking has been there. Guys have done a much better job uh, throughout the past couple of weeks of finishing, no matter who's in there, targeting, finishing the proper way. It's there. Uh, we're, we're very close in the run game. We'll stay after it. It's where we want to be better. We know we can get better there, and we will uh, show improvement there. How much has Jalen contributed back to being healthy and helped your defense over the past couple of weeks? Jalen has done a great job. Uh, Jalen, he brings uh, – Definitely some instincts, playmaking ability to our defense, uh, and the communication factor on the back end. A lot of communication and checks that have to go into play there on multiple plays. And Jalen does a really good job of communicating. Does a really good job of flying around, being instinctive, and he always seems to find himself around the ball. And that's what uh, that's what I love about Jalen. In terms of the offense, uh, you know, you try to take jump balls and run games with some before. What, what do you think changed? Uh, just different looks for our, for our offense. Uh, try some different things with Tank. Just try to utilize him to his, to his skill set, utilizing his speed, utilizing his playmaker ability. So uh, that's why you saw Tank in the backfield on a couple of plays. Working with Jake, um, working with Jake Long, like in the red zone, like what, what, how, how is it working with him? What is it uh, that he kind of brings as an offensive coach and that kind of thing? Yeah, it's with the with our red zone offense. I, you know, I think yesterday it wasn't more so red zone. It was more of us on third down where we didn't make things happen, uh, and that started by second down, a couple of negative runs on second down, and it kind of put us behind the sticks there and forced us into a couple uh, longer third down, longer third third downs than we would like. Want to be in third and manageable, and we weren't there, so it made it tougher. But uh, overall, offense is doing really good things, right? We just have to continue to press forward, continue to be precise on our details, and we'll see points show up when, when that happens. The tank is in the protocol, and we'll see how he progresses throughout the week. Hopefully he starts to feel better. Uh, definitely hurts, you know, not having him out there. Tank is an explosive playmaker for us. Uh, but just really our thoughts with Tank to make sure that he gets back healthy as soon as possible. Yeah, 
it's a great learn, learning lesson yesterday, right? We were we were close and we feel like we should have finished that game, but for me it's a great teaching moment for our guys to really understand like what it takes to win games in this league. They're all all the games are gonna be tight. It's gonna come down to one possession. Right? We're gonna be close, we're gonna be in games, but what does it take to win games and not lose games? Are you on your job every time the ball is snapped? A lot of people look at the last plays and the last drives, but there are a lot of things that happen in those first three quarters where probably shouldn't be in that position. Right? So how dialed in are we on every play of the game? To me, every play is the play of the game. And if you don't look at it that way, and it's a mistake. What did you learn about CJ Stroud? It was very encouraging to see you know, CJ, young quarterback, right, not flinch. Right, last drive of the game, we needed to go down and go score. He didn't flinch. Operated with, I mean, precision. Everybody was on it. The ball placement, the decision making. Right, just overall collected as offense, seeing them drive down, it was encouraging. And that's what you want to see. It was true poise from a young quarterback. And that's what it takes to play the toughest position in sports. It takes poise, and he has it. You guys get it? All right. Thank you, guys.